This morning, what I want to do with you is I want to journey a bit with this whole concept. Now, this class might kind of uh, today look a little bit more like a philosophy class. Okay? okay. I want to I want to explore some ideas with you. I'm hoping that you would value that and also just go with me on it for the morning. I am willing to explore whether or not the Bible is actually true or not. I, I don't mind asking if parts of it are true, if parts of it contradict. I don't mind asking that at all. I find every time I ask that, the only place I can come to for comfort is Jesus. So if I ask questions and he's the end goal, I'm, I'm okay with the questions. So I just ask that as we explore together, um, you don't run off to your friends and family and try and find answers. Uh, if you're left with some somewhat of a black hole in your faith, you run off and get on your knees and just pray. Okay? I'm going to ask that you would honor me in that uh, because the answers, truth, is not something we really control. We can see it. Okay? You might be able to say, Jesus is God, and I think that that is true, but how you can really defend that and explore that is hard. Because I can tell you, when I first fell in love with Jesus many years ago, I knew him. I fell in love with him. He was amazing. Now in my faith, he looks nothing like he did when I met him. There might be a little glimmer. So while what I knew about him was true, I was not wrong. My relationship with him has matured to the point of he's changed. He's become more. And so I want, I want to give that to you as you explore truth this morning. We can know things about the Bible, but as we deepen, they actually change. And so if you feel like this is absolutely true, you need to recognize that the point of what you believe today is probably different than you did two weeks ago. So if it's true today, maybe in two weeks it won't be completely the same for you. And I want you to get deeper. It's not that truth goes away, it's that truth gets richer and more beautiful. So I ask that you approach this subject with a humble heart, with a humble doctrine, if you will, hum humble theology, um, because I want us to just be willing to let Jesus not what we believe about him, always to be the true point, okay? Because our beliefs grow, and that's one of our beliefs. And there's actually things that I've, I've learned about Jesus now, my relationship with him, that 20 years ago, I thought, and now they're just flat out wrong. I was just wrong. I thought Jesus was someone else. Well, I have been wrong. Um, so again, approaching with a humble heart. Get to know him better. He, I would argue, he's the ultimate truth. And so as we explore the Bible, I want you to, to always have him kind of beside these written words. Okay? Uh, he's the one who goes with the truth. Does that make sense? Kind of following where I want to go? Okay? And I want you to talk about if the Bible is true. Okay? Now, this is what I want you to do with a piece of paper. If there's things that you believe are questionable, Okay? There is nothing off limits. Now, I hope that we have enough trust that we can explore these things. Okay? So write down these things that might not be true. Perhaps you think a contradiction is there that no one's ever addressed that you can, that you, you're worried about. Perhaps there's an answer to, question, to life that just no one gives you a good answer. You get these Christian garbage answers that don't work. Okay? I don't like Christian garbage answers. There's too many of them. All it means is, I don't know, let's not talk about it, God's grace is enough, deal with it. I don't like that kind of garbage, okay? We need to deal with it like that. So if you need to write something down, write it down. We're going to dialogue. I'm going to put the problems up on the board, and then as we discuss this truth issue throughout today, I hope that we can start to maybe move some of them around or even erase them, uh, cross them out, or maybe highlight them and say, we don't have an answer yet, okay? Does that make sense to you? Dialogue a little bit, come up with some issues that maybe you're struggling with. Well, you know, the flood, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, scientifically speaking. The whole world floods, 
how big is this boat? Did this include the insects and not just other animals? You can put this kind of stuff on, on this list, okay? You got a problem with the Bible? Now's your time to bend. And we've already prayed. God's going to protect us in this room. So just explore, okay?